alleged that uh, uh, some of Elijah's women were underage secretaries. And can you expound on that? Yeah, well, I guess they were because they were there. I seen them. I seen them myself. It's all true. It's all true. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Good evening, messenger. convince us that you are the last messenger. How many other bastard children do you have? Barbershop conversation, man. You guys see the link at the bottom nine wise, man. Make sure you go check it out, man. Amazing film. If I might say, must say so myself. <clears throat> so, so we got a lot of experts in my comment section and my DM and and I'm sure there's a bunch of YouTubers. I, I've seen a handful of videos about everyone's an expert on contracts. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. If all these if all these guys were experts on contracts. One, they may not be be YouTubers, may still be YouTubers because that's the way of the world now. But two, they will be millionaires, right? If you've seen seven-figure contracts, like everybody's seen seven-figure, everybody's a millionaire. Everybody, everybody knows how to tell them what to tell a millionaire what to do. Y'all sound like my family members. Oh, you should do this. Oh, you should know my way works. And I've seen quite a few million-dollar contracts. Quite a few. On the property side on the entertainment side i've seen quite a few i've been offered million dollar jobs and i'm just going to simplify this y'all just need to shut up and stay in your lane and commentate about boxing y'all might be experts on boxing but what you're not an expert on is contracts because you haven't seen one you just going on what you what you hear if, if you're an expert on contracts, you pull up a contract that, that stipulates what you've done. And I don't have to because it's well documented throughout my, throughout my channel. So I don't have to put up my contracts because over the last seven years, you guys have seen it. So it's no need for me to do it, right? But as I continue, I'm just going to simplify this so you guys, so you dummies in the back. And uh, I, I'm just tired of just, it, I'm, I'm just not tired. I, that's the wrong word choice, but I'm just going to say the truth and tell the truth. And if I offend people, I offend people. It's, I don't care at this point. Never care. If Terrence Crawford is not an Al Heyman fighter, that means he is not only Terrence Crawford, but he's also Bob Aaron. Do you guys understand what the hell I'm saying? If he's representing himself, he is both promoter and fighter. If Bob Aaron, see, see this is how dumb niggas, niggas are. Niggas, 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 niggas. And I'm talking all y'all because we got some uh, other, but other denominations. If Bob Aram tells Al Heyman open the books. Oh, he has the right to. He's a lawyer. He's a doctor. He's a, he's a promoter. Don't you think they had to agree on a split for Fury Wilder 2 and 3? Of course. Of course. Well, guess who's Bob? Guess who's playing the role of Bob Arum with Al Heyman? Terrence Crawford. When you're negotiating a business deal, no matter what it is, you negotiate what you want. I still have a seven-figure deal on the table if I choose to take it. Still. It's just a phone call away. If you don't believe me, go check my live last week. CBS executive called me while I was on live with y'all. And I didn't lie one time. And 
I need you guys to understand what negotiating is. Many of you have never negotiated because you're working a nine to five. You've been in the military. Uh, you work for um, the government. So you don't negotiate. No, you don't negotiate. It's like a 10 minute negotiation. Okay, what do you want? How do you? No, 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 no. When, when every variable is independent, you negotiate. Is Canelo worth $45 million? To me, no. To Eddie Hearn and Al Heyman and Canelo? Yes, he is. You guys fear men who are completely independent and independent thinkers. Case in point, Kanye, whether you agree or disagree with him, you guys are overvaluing the shirt. But the most exciting thing is now we can talk about the guns, the murderers, the pimps, the gangbangers, the drug dealers, the rapists, you know, the killers, the robbers. Because if we're that mad about a shirt, we should be more mad about. Um... But the point I want to make is y'all just need to shut up because you don't know. None of these niggas know on YouTube what a million dollar contract looks like. None of these niggas know. None of these niggas know. Man. And <laughs> Terrence Crawford, do what you want to do. Negotiate what you want. Because now he's negotiating with one man. And that one man is Al Heyman. And um, if he choose to negotiate, I always tell them, Earl and Terrence need to need to form a pseudo union together and pitch the fight. Because I believe Al Heyman is using parties against each other. So, so I encourage all y'all. See, y'all listening to Purple Lip. <laughs> we got to bring the Purple Lip community back there. Niggas who smoke blunts all day and and uh, come in the comment section and think that they experts. People actually believe we make them smarter. <laughs> no, man. No, man. No, man. We don't make you smarter. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. It makes your day shorter. Yeah. That's what it does. So I say this. Terrence Crawford has the right to negotiate whatever he wants in the deal. Because if you wasn't mad at Al Heyman asking Bob Arum to open up the books when Sean Porter went over there and uh, the woman beater, what's his name? Michael Brown. What's his name? Jamal Brown. It's going to come to me. Michael Brown. Marcus Brown. Marcus Brown. That's his name. When Marcus Brown went over there and Al Heyman had to open up his books, they did what they did. Right. And vice versa with Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. Whether it's right or wrong, he has the right to negotiate. But many of you niggas ain't negotiated seven figure deals. I have a standing. I'm going to repeat this because I need you. I don't want to make you more mad. I have a standing seven figure deal anytime I want it. Anytime. I can walk into ESPN right now and be a producer. That's like three phone calls away and a meeting. I'm just saying. It's, it's 928 in the morning and I'm in my office. A lot of y'all are going to watch this on your lunch break and be mad. Be big mad. I'm about to go to the gym. Y'all see how this shirt fit me? This is a large. <laughs> this is a large shirt, man. I'm, I'm getting in shape like a motherfucker. Y'all think I'll be hiding shit under my hoodie? No, man. I'm a part of the eight figure and eight abs club. <laughs> oh, man. The whole family's home today. Just a beautiful thing, man. And uh, yeah, I'm arrogant. I'm pompous. Who cares? Your two cents didn't buy anything in this house. I'm looking around. 
I got a sh- I don't, oh, I've never showed y'all my chandelier. Uh, I got a chandelier in here. In case anyone was wondering, maybe I should. You know, it's different, man. And I'm arrogant, I'm confident, and everything else. But if you follow me on Instagram, guess what I've done? I didn't. I didn't say, "Oh, you guys should be rich." No, I showed you. Yeah, I'm that arrogant. I'm so arrogant that I believe every time I get rich, you can get rich too. The purple lip community doesn't know anything about contracts. Nah, nah, these niggas that get on here and smoke weed and um, nah, in the comment section and smoking coke and and they fat and chubby and man, come on, man. Nah, man, living in your mother's basement. Nah, smoking cigarettes all day. Nah. Nah. nah, man. Nah, man. Anthony Joshua made $45 million in his last deal. And guess what? He has ownership of the zone. Guess what? Triple G has ownership of the zone. He has stock options. He owns it. And you and you telling and you telling Terrence Crawford as an independent, he's playing both promoter and fighter. That he can't do that. <laughs> Y'all think it's crazy. How about if Earl Spence wanted to do that? Oh, it's a little different now, right? A little different. All right, let's go back. I got 10 minutes. I wanted to be in the gym before 10. Um, let's go back to Wilder. And Anthony Joshua. Didn't we ask Eddie Hearn to open up the books for Wilder? I remember that. Split. We want to split. We want the tickets. We want everything. And didn't. History proves it. You know what I'm saying? History proves it. I don't need to go into full detail. We, We remember that. Uh, that was documented at great length, and I supported Deontay Wilder. Gary Russell said the same thing. I want to. I want the hot dogs. I want every. He said it in an interview. Me, Corey Lee, and Corey Lee boxing, and someone else did that interview in in Maryland. Floyd Mayweather said it. It was cool. It's the same thing, y'all. But I'm also talking to motherfuckers who have never seen a seven-figure deal. Like I said, I'm going to show all this when I get older. Because the reason why, you say, why, friend? Because these men change positions. The men at CBS won't be at CBS in 10 years. They may own their own network. They may start up their own app. They may. So, um in due time, but you guys, but I've documented it every day in real time. You know what I mean? And I've turned them all down. My goal is to take pictures with celebrities and I'm going to take kids, take pictures with my kids, man. Motherfuckers taking pictures with the celebrities and want to be famous. And that's the world we live in. People going to miss I miss what I'm saying. Like, they life is take pictures with celebrities. I want to be attached to a celebrity. You guys have never seen me desire to be attached to a celebrity. It's always been about my last name. And it's about Terrence Crawford's last name. So I would tell Terrence Crawford, call Earl Spence. Call Earl Spence and see where he's at. So you have a great understanding. That's the conversation that should be had. Because it won't change how they're going to feel when they walk into the ring with each other. If we saying we as black as we say we are, shouldn't we be encouraging Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford to, to use this fight to fight against the machine? I'm just asking. I'm asking for a friend. Al Heyman is a part of the machine. 
Oh, I'm going to make y'all mad, man. I'm going to make y'all mad. But you know what? I'm going to get richer and richer and richer and richer and richer. And there's nothing y'all can do about it. There's nothing. These hands work, man. I'm a grinder, man. I'm a grinder. So anyways, man, y'all have a great, a great, great uh, uh, Wednesday, man. And uh, um, yeah, man. Um, I totally appreciate y'all, man. I'll see you guys tonight. We'll, we'll probably talk about Connor Ben and all that bullshit. Kick him out. You kick him out the sport. That's why I say it's simple. You know what I mean? I ain't I ain't got no kick him out the sport. So um but uh they they trying to find a way to fight. And um we'll see how that goes. But anyways, man, y'all have a great day and uh there's only a handful of guys on YouTube that can elaborate on contracts. I'm one of them. I don't know who else is, but there's only a handful of guys and I don't know them. So, but, um, but, um, that had, that literally can say someone offered me a million dollars. <laughs> and I itemize my taxes. No, no, you tend not, you don't itemize your tax. You got a W2. I itemize everything in my life. <laughs> Y'all say, Fred, why do you talk about what you're donating? Because it's documented. So if I ever get audited, it's documented. I donated $5,000 for the backpack giveaway. I donated thousands of dollars to the community. I donated $100,000 during COVID. It's documented. You say, I use this as documentation. It's dated. <laughs> I'm smarter than you niggas, man. Barbershop conversations, man. And I'm arrogant, too. There's nothing y'all can do about it. I'm confident. I, I, this self-belief is just immeasurable, y'all. Y'all should join the, y'all should join the uh, self-confidence immeasurable team. All right. So if, if, if everyone else is talking about contracts, well, I mean, you're looking at a million dollars millions of dollars contract. I'm living in one, right? Um, yeah, man. Hopefully this video rubs you the wrong way. <laughs> Checks and balances. Guess what? I could have took this movie to a studio. I could have got a half a million dollars for this, for this movie. Uh-huh. Half a million to a million. I know I could have. All I had to do was pick up the phone, but I didn't. But you know what I did? I bet on myself. You know what I mean? I bet on myself like I normally do. Y'all niggas taking y'all niggas taking advances. I'm taking chances. It's a big difference, man. It's a big, big difference, man. In the meantime, y'all watch this trailer. You're watching America this morning. America's number one early morning. Time after time after time, we are watching murderers go free. They hide behind their badges, they hide behind their white privilege, and they use the excuse that they fear for their lives to murder our young people in cold blood. It's done. Eggs, my brother. No, no, no. Don't think about it. All you self-righteous assholes do is march and destroy your own communities. Killing me won't change a goddamn thing. It's a lot different when it's a grown black man standing in the ground.